the Voyager 2 spacecraft has finally bid farewell to our solar system uh, to explore the far reaches of the sun's orbit. Uh, it's the only probe ever to visit Uranus and Neptune. In the 1970s, following the alignment of the galaxy's planets, man took on a quest to explore the cosmos and find hidden truths about space. And to this effect, NASA launched two space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, into space. Over the years, these probes have changed our understanding of space by continually capturing data and transmitting it back to Earth. But a recent update transmission from these probes has disclosed their current location, and this has baffled the scientists and astronomers as the probes have far exceeded their limits. Join us as we delve into the recent Voyager 1 and 2 location updates that you won't believe. Voyager 1. Location. Determining Voyager 1's location in interstellar space involved assessing the temperature, pressure, and plasma density around the spacecraft. Inside the heliosphere, created by the Sun, plasma streams from the Sun, while interstellar space contains denser plasma from ancient star explosions. Unfortunately, Voyager 1's plasma detector ceased functioning in 1980, leaving scientists to find alternative methods. Without the plasma detector, scientists compared the composition of charged particles in the solar wind within our solar system's bubble with those in interstellar space. By July 2012, the solar wind had diminished and the galactic wind had increased, placing Voyager 1 on the magnetic highway. Plasma, with charged particles, is more prevalent in the extreme cold of interstellar space than in the solar wind bubble. Voyager 1's plasma detector, designed for such measurements, became unnecessary after a stroke of luck. Solar flares in 2011 and 2012 sent charged particles toward Voyager, providing sound wave data. Analyzing the resulting vibrations allowed scientists to measure plasma density and confirm Voyager 1's unprecedented location. The data revealed cosmic rays outside the heliosphere, indicating Voyager 1's exit. Pink eons represented solar wind leaving along the magnetic highway, while blue eons indicated faster cosmic eons from interstellar space. Voyager 1 is now surrounded only by cosmic rays from elsewhere in the galaxy. While many scientists assert Voyager 1 is in interstellar space, some consider the solar system to extend to the Oort cloud's edge. Voyager 1, moving at 38,000 meters per hour, won't reach the inner Oort cloud edge for 300 years, with an additional 30,000 years for the full journey. Voyager 1's speed remains constant, encountering a star in 40,000 years and passing through the Oort cloud in 56,000 years. Voyager 2, moving at 34,500 meters per hour, is expected to enter interstellar space around late 2019 or 2020, taking a different route. In about 61,000 years, Voyager 2 exits the Oort cloud. After 296,000 years, Voyager 2 passed Sirius at 4.3 light years, followed by encounters with Delta Pav and GJ754 about 100,000 years later. Both Voyagers continue into the void traversing dust clouds and local bubbles in space shaped by dying stars, exceeding expectations. Current status NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, 46 years into its remarkable mission, has encountered a computer glitch leading to a communication breakdown with its mission team on Earth. The aging probe, currently venturing into uncharted cosmic realms at the outer fringes of the solar system, is equipped with three onboard computers, one of which, the flight data system, has been experiencing a groundhog daylight glitch since November 14th. This glitch has resulted in a continuous loop of ones and zeros being sent by the telecommunications unit of the flight data system. While the spacecraft can still receive and execute commands, the glitch prevents science or engineering data transmission to Earth. Attempts to restart the flight data system have been unsuccessful and NASA engineers are actively investigating the root cause before deciding on potential corrective measures. Interestingly, the last time Voyager 1 faced a similar issue with the flight data system was in 1981, and the current problem appears unrelated to recent glitches. As the mission team grapples with this technical challenge, they rely on original manuals written decades ago. However, 
these manuals may need to fully address the current challenges posed by the aging spacecraft. The primary value of the mission lies in its enduring duration. Providing scientists with valuable data on particles and magnetic fields as the probes move farther away from the heliosphere. Despite the current glitch, the mission team, accustomed to the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth, is taking a cautious approach. With a 22.5-hour delay for commands and a 45-hour wait for responses, creative strategies have been previously employed to extend the power supply on both Voyager spacecraft, allowing their record-breaking missions to persist. Voyager 1, Having entered the space between stars on August 25, 2012, has traveled about 24,500 kilometers away from the Sun. On November 25, 2023, it reached a speed of about 61,198 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 achieved a similar feat in 2023, moving at 55,347 kilometers per hour and currently residing approximately 2,203,800 kilometers away from the Sun. Both probes officially entered interstellar space, with Voyager 2 achieving this milestone on November 5, 2019. Despite the glitches and challenges, the Voyagers are expected to endure for an extended period, outlasting our solar system and the Milky Way galaxy. These resilient spacecraft continue to exceed expectations, exploring space and carrying the last bits of our human story into the cosmic unknown. Grand Planetary Tour Mission and Beyond The start of the Grand Tour idea goes back to 1964, when Gary Flandro of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory noticed a special lineup of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune expected in the late 1970s. This unique arrangement, happening about once every 175 years, caught the interest of scientists. 45 years ago, on August 20th, 1977, the Voyager 2 spacecraft began a big journey, managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Initially made to check out Jupiter and Saturn, both Voyagers used a rare planetary lineup, using gravity to help change their paths toward Uranus and Neptune. Carrying fancy tools, the Voyagers keep sending data as they travel through the outer planets and head into interstellar space, in 1966, JPL actively supported the Grand Tour project, highlighting its potential for a full review of the outer planets, surpassing the effectiveness of individual probes. NASA's Outer Planets Working Group, formed in 1969, backed the Grand Tour idea, imagining two missions going to three planets each, including Pluto. These missions aimed to launch in 1977 and 1979 reducing the total mission time. The suggested thermoelectric outer planet spacecraft promised a longer life, but by 1971, rising costs and competition from the space shuttle program led to the cancellation of the Grand Tour. Stephen J. Pine mentions the Voyager's unexpected discoveries and potential long lives, comparing them to respected paintings or long-lasting institutions. The main mission of the Voyager spacecraft was to investigate Jupiter and Saturn, but their remarkable findings extended the mission. Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune, becoming the only spacecraft to reach these outer planets. Remote control programming improved the Voyager's abilities over time. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 thoroughly studied the huge outer planets, their moons, rings, and magnetic fields. Voyager 2 went through the asteroid belt in December 1977, with Voyager 1 passing it nine days later. The two spacecraft stuck to the same mission idea, with Voyager 1 aiming for a Titan flyby and Voyager 2 optimizing its path for the Grand Tour. A backup plan considered skipping Voyager 1's Titan flyby, but Titan's interesting nature won. Voyager 1's flyby provided valuable data about Titan, supporting evidence for liquid hydrocarbon lakes. Voyager 2 was then allowed for an extended mission to Uranus and Neptune, realizing the grand tour proposed in 1964. Exploration of Outer Planets The Voyager program planned to use gravity-assisted flybys, starting with Jupiter and moving on to Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. The original plan involved sending pairs of simple outer planet spacecraft, 
but cost issues led to its cancellation in 1971. In 1977, a smaller version, the Voyager 1 and 2, took off as a basic spacecraft, starting an amazing journey. Voyager 2 took off on Aug 20, 1977, two weeks before its twin. Even though Voyager 1 launched later, its faster path allowed it to reach Jupiter first in 1979. Voyager 2 looked at Jupiter and Saturn, then turned towards Uranus and Neptune, getting close-up views of these big planets. But signs of aging showed during Voyager 2's Neptune mission in 1989, creating challenges. Voyager 2's Neptune mission had unique challenges, needing smart solutions. Aging parts, like the camera house, affected smooth operations. Tricky moves allowed the camera to take long pictures in Neptune's low-light setting. The huge distance from Earth to Neptune created communication problems handled by Voyager 2's radio transmitter and NASA's use of 38 antennas worldwide. In February 1998, Voyager 1 achieved a significant milestone by surpassing Pioneer 10, becoming the most distant human-made object in outer space. Subsequently, in 2002, Voyager 1 exited the solar system, ascending above the ecliptic plane at an angle of 35 degrees and maintaining a velocity of 39,000 miles per hour. Simultaneously, Voyager 2 embarked on its journey out of the solar system, descending below the ecliptic plane at an angle of 48 degrees and traveling at a speed of 34,500 miles per hour. These maneuvers marked pivotal moments in the extended missions of the Voyager spacecraft, solidifying their positions as trailblazers in interstellar exploration. After finishing the big tour of the giant planets, Jupiter in 1979, Saturn in 1981, Uranus in 1986, and Neptune in 1989, Voyager 2 remained among the most successful space missions. By 1998, Voyager 1 had become the most distant human-made object, leaving the solar system in 2002. Voyager 2 visited more planets than any other human-made object. Both Voyager probes finished exploring the outer planets in the first 12 years, but continued their journey into the unknown, leaving a lasting mark on space exploration. If you were a part of the team controlling the mission, what choices would you have made to navigate through the unknowns of space? Voyager Interstellar Mission the main job of Voyager, finished in 1989, after Voyager 2 did a close pass by Neptune, the Voyager Interstellar Mission is an extra mission that started more than 12 years into the flight of the two spacecraft. In 2008, a NASA Science Mission Directorate panel emphasized the importance of continuing the Voyager Interstellar Mission, recommending optimal funding levels and increased deep space network support. The big goal of the Voyager Interstellar mission was to extend the exploration of the solar system beyond the outer planets, reaching the point where the sun's radiation dominates over interstellar winds and potentially beyond. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, followed by Voyager 2 in 2018. Passing through the heliopause allowed both spacecraft to measure interstellar fields, particles, and waves unaffected by the solar wind. Two notable findings were the discovery of magnetic bubbles and the absence of an expected shift in the solar magnetic field. In January 1990, the mission was renamed the Voyager Interstellar Mission, and both spacecraft continued to explore regions never before reached by Earth's probes. NASA's Deep Space Network is expected to faintly pick up Voyager's signal for the last time around 2025. Ready for another mind-blowing discovery? Well, just as the Voyagers exceeded expectations with their longevity, our Cosmos Tough phone cases promise durability and longevity and are available for sale for the new year. Don't miss out. Quickly grab a piece by clicking on your screen or checking the first link in the description. Thank you for watching. Share your thoughts on the Voyager missions. Do well to like this video and subscribe for more. While you are still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.